Hey, Kevin. You dreaming? I wonder how they got it so darn small. What is it? This is Longevity's uh, MIGWELL 250MP. So it's a multiple pulse machine. <clears throat> it's a MIG welder and a stick welder. That's an interesting combination. But then you've got a single pulse and a double pulse. Haven't quite got my head wrapped around that double pulse yet. Still playing with that thing. So either the machines are getting smaller or I'm getting taller, one or the other, because, boy, it's a long way down here. Kind of an interesting little control panel. You've got different presets. You've got uh, the nine different presets you can have on it. And then uh, one of the cool things here is now it has a gas test button. Instead of having to pull the trigger to purge the, purge the gun, you can just push the button for a second. That way you're just not wasting a little bit of wire. And then you've got you know, welding current controls. You've got uh, voltage or time controls for like when you're adjusting your pulse parameter. You've got 2T and 4T. You've got your stick position and then just regular you know, straight MIG welding single pulse, double pulse, and then just a setup function for changing the parameters in the machine. Over here in this corner, this is your setup uh, location for the different kinds of metal you, you're normally welding with. They've got FE on the top. Okay, that's steel. I know that one. I'm not sure what the others are. They, they didn't you know, just spell it out like stainless or aluminum or you know, anything like that. They put the chemical name up there instead. Huh. And then on this side, you've got presets for the different wire diameters, from 0.03 up to 0 .6, 0 0.06. Unlike a lot of these machines, you know, this one's a little complicated. You, you, you really got to stop and look at it in a minute and figure out which setting you want, and you know, maybe go check in a book or something to figure out what you're actually doing. Uh, and then you've got this. If you've got this little display in the middle, uh, a digital display where you get all your different functions up top and then your knobs you know, change those different parameters depending on what you're doing. It's an interesting combination, make and stick. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure why they did that really. You know, probably because you know, your MIG you know, is good up to about, you know, let's say a half an inch, you know, a little, little less maybe with a 250 amp machine. But then you've got stick also, so if you're going to get up into you know, anything over a half an inch, up to three quarters, an inch, whatever, then you can switch over to the stick side of it and still be able to do the, do the welding that way. And you can also put a, uh, a spool gun on this. You know, so you can do aluminum. That's one of the settings here. And then you can also get a push-pull gun. So this is a push-pull gun instead of your regular, instead of just your straight MIG gun where the drive rollers in the machine push the wire up and out, you know, you pull the trigger, you're welded. This one has an extra set of drive rollers. So not only does it push it from the machine, but it pulls it from here also. So you could put aluminum in this machine and run it through this nice big long cable and have it feed from here and be able to weld aluminum that way with it, I believe. I haven't set it up yet. I haven't had a chance to play with it. But that's what these are going, these are for. You know, if, if you're welding a pie somewhere, you know, working up in the beams or what have you, or like me working up on the top of a sculpture, and the single drive roller, the, you, know, you know, the double drive roller that's in this machine just doesn't have enough poop to push that wire up, you know, eight, ten feet, whatever. This will help pull it. Nice little function once and, you get them set up and running. And that comes with it. That does not come with it. That's an op that's an option. You know, just like the spool gun is an option. But you know, I'll, I'll get this set up and we'll play with this a little while, and then I'll, I'll do another video on this later. So pretty much your standard setup inside. You know, it's got a, a nice metal drive roller assembly with steel wheels on it instead of plastic ones. Uh, it's geared, you know, instead of key. On the back, you know, this one has a barb.
for the hose, you know, when you put the hose on, just put a hose clamp on it. Same with the regulator. This was a, is a pre-production machine, so this should have been changed in the production machines. It should just have a regular hose fitting on it. At least that's what I was told. But they did put the, they put the gas connection on one side. They put the power connection on the other. You know, that way, the bottle's not hitting it or anything. You can put a bigger bottle on here. Uh, you know, they will certainly fit. Um, I didn't want to simply because of, I didn't want the height, you know, I didn't want that four foot tall or five foot tall bottle back here on this little tiny machine. You know. So that's why I went with this bottle. And just a circuit breaker style on off switch on the back of it. So let me put my helmet on and we'll make some sparks over here. So just working on some uh, eight inch stock over here, making a base for a sculpture. 22 volts, 106 amps. This machine does not have a wire feed adjustment. It's done by the machine depending on the amperage and the voltage. So it will set itself. And then just you know, straight 2T and just straight MIG, no pulse. little machine really you know with the MIG and then the stick functions in there you, you kind of get the best of both worlds without having the TIG machine you know so you can do you can run that MIG and get all your your medium thickness stuff if you will but you know, then once you want to get up over you know three eighths of an inch or a half inch or something like that and get up into the really heavy plate then you can just flip, switch it over to stick you know and then you've got that capability right there also what's it run so right now over on Longevity site, uh, normally $2,500, and it's it's selling right now on sale for $22 something. I think you, you find your machine with a lot of power inside there. So I'm going to go back to playing with it. I'll see you guys next time. What's it run? Well, it doesn't really run at all. You have to push it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mr. Science. Smarty, yeah.